The migrant crisis racking up a hefty price tag for state and local governments. You're talking about maybe $80 billion in uh, educational costs, uh, maybe $25 billion in um, health care costs. As they work to care for the massive influx of newcomers, many sent to them, courtesy of Texas Governor Greg Abbott in his effort to draw national attention to the border problem. We're such a big country that uh, people have been able to ignore the issue of illegal immigration over the years. New York City rolling out a $53 million pilot program, giving out prepaid debit cards to migrant families. There is no free money. These are not ATM cards. You can't take cash out. If anyone has that idea, they are wrong. This is for food and baby supplies only. New York Governor Kathy Hochul asking state lawmakers to authorize $2.4 billion for migrants on top of the $1.9 billion already spent. NYC projecting they'll spend $10.5 billion on migrants by the summer of 2025. I think we're doing a really good job under really challenging circumstances. Massachusetts is spending $75 million each month on state-run migrant shelters. Denver is expecting to save $60 million as they close four migrant shelters there. You cannot have open borders and a welfare state. In Chicago, Mayor Brandon Johnson refusing to admit how much the city is paying to operate its 27 migrant shelters. One report places the cost of operating just three of these at nearly $1 million each week. Many residents have had enough and they want to send a message to their leaders. If we do not get issues resolved, People will not be voting how they used to before. Leaders like New York City Mayor Eric Adams continue requesting additional federal assistance as pressure mounts on Joe Biden to show he's the candidate who can fix the border crisis. I'm Kayla Gaskins reporting.